what attracts me here and why do I also uh, I like to visit uh, the Orthodox Church and I I think it's this mysterious uh, that you cannot explain uh, but I uh, I feel it here in Romania and I'm drawn to Romania because it's it's holding something of this deeper mysterious I sold my home in Norway, left my job when I was around 52. My family said I was crazy, they don't understand me, but there was something deep in me that was calling. And I moved to Malta and uh, it has changed my life and I feel I am on the way to something new and I have to trust that. I see my money go down because I live from what I have from my house and I feel I cannot go back to work as economist like I did. So it's, it's just a trust that Jesus will change you into the way where he can use you in a new way. Pentru Ingrid, drumul către Dumnezeu a fost chiar drumul existenței concrete, de zi cu zi, care a condus-o spre situații în care a fost nevoită să-și pună acut întrebări importante despre om, viață, Dumnezeu. Când și-a dat seama că rădăcinile s-au înfipt prea adânc în cele ale pământului, lipsind-o de perspectiva cerului, Ingrid a ales un traiect mai mult pe verticală. Then one night in 2015, December, I was dreaming the whole night about Romania. Like waking up, oh Romania, oh, and going to sleep again, and I was dreaming about Romania, waking up, and in the morning I just knew Romania is calling me. I'm drawn to especially these small uh, chapels. And I don't that much like these big new cathedrals, but these old, they hold something. You feel it when you come uh, inside. It's, you can call it an energy, spirit, atmosphere, uh, but you feel it. And um, it's doing something with you. And you sit down and meditate a little bit, prayer, 